Welcome to Lessons of Cameron. In this video we're going to take a look at the Orange MicroDark, the newest of the little micro series of amps they have out. Uh, these little 20 watt amps are great. It is a valve preamp and a solid state power amp and let's take a quick look at what it does. A couple different things going on here. We've got the input, the gain, which controls the four stage gain. So as you roll on more gain it kind of changes colors and tones. Then we have the shape knob in the middle that goes between uh, turned all the way to the left is kind of a bell-shaped EQ, and if you turn it all the way to the right, it makes that classic deep V EQ. And then uh, next we have the volume, which of course is just the volume, a headphone output, which has a cabinet simulator, and uh, lastly, we have the cool blue light for the dark series, as opposed to the uh, orange light that you see on the regular Micro Terror series. One of the other notable features of the orange micro dark is the effects loop that is in the back. I've got it running through a PPC 112 orange cabinet. We've also got the PPC 108s, the 8 inch cabinet here today. We're going to start with the real low gain setting and here's what it sounds like when it's fairly clean. Next order business, let's go ahead and bring the gain up. Alright, so now I got the gain right around that 10 o'clock position. Sounds a little like this. Alright, so here we are. Now we're starting to feel some of that stage, uh, extra stages of gain. We've got it turned to the what would be about the 2 o'clock position. And let's go ahead and add some more. All right, let's go ahead and hear this with, looks about, about three, four o'clock worth of gain. So it's got some bite. Let's go ahead and turn up the gain a little bit more. As a matter of fact, let's run the rest of it. That's pretty good, actually. I'm not, not mad at that at all. Next thing we're going to do is take a look at that shape knob. We're going to go ahead and turn that thing up and down and see what happens. So I'm going to roll it all the way to the top, which would be a very heavy V shape, which is going to bring up the bass, bring up the treble with cutting out a lot of the mids. Taking it out of the three o'clock position.
again the noon position. And now we're more at the 10 o'clock. This is bringing the mids up and taking the trebles and basses down just a little bit. strikes me as more of a rock and roll sound rather than a heavier sound. Of course we can uh, probably dial back the gain a little bit to get something a little more traditional rock and roll. And this is all the way down, so... So if I bring the game back, let's see how, how much more rock and rollish. There's yeah, there's something there. Yep. All right, and bring that game down a little bit more. We're gonna go ahead and put this amp at noon across the board. wired in the effects loop and now I'm running a ghost echo reverb from Earthquaker devices and currently that's actually the only thing I'm running in there but this is the the onboard distortion or the overdrive or gain or this is just from the amp all I'm adding here is reverb which of course helps a lot <laughs> much more aggressive setup, but with a little reverb on it. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the Micro Dark plugged in through the PPC-108 so you can get a chance to compare and contrast it against the uh, Orange 112, the PPC-112. So here it is. summation is the micro dark is actually pretty awesome i would definitely include it as a great backup amp it could be a really good front main amp as well if you like having small little lunchbox amps the novelty is pretty cool on that they're affordable they sound nice um, 
I have I don't have any complaints about it other than gosh, nothing. <laughs>